The schmucks bought new clothes, shoes, wants to look casual yet smart. Dreams of a fast car and being a boy racer with Bobby Horrop from senior school. Dreams about speedos, kneading and streamlined reflections. He really believes in the world around him, in hope and a 2.4 by 4 family. Likes Sarah and Robert as names. Decides not to wear a tie. Looks in the mirror. His maroon shirt crushed velveteen. In the mirror, the schmuck triple chins and stomachs his way through practice chat-up lines, talks of sci-fi and politics, spits a little, says he's a feminist, fluent in Klingon, knows there's a Mrs. Schmuck somewhere dying to know his trivia. Mrs. Schmuck won't come out of hiding. Maybe she's alien. He jokes about her wearing a cloaking device. He enjoys the bitter memories of school. They nicknamed him Donut, Sweet. At least they knew he was there. Going to a club tonight, calls it a disco, a singles night he found online, spelt S-I-N-G-L-Z-Z. -Z. It's sci-fi themed. Maybe Mrs. Schmuck will be there, dressed like Seven of Nine in sequins. If they play Echo Beach, she'll dance. The schmuck's got rhythm. First, he'll go to Cafe Hollywood and sit through beans on toast with a promise of two desserts on his lips. Marilyn Monroe is almost even. James Dean, crooked. David Niven looks quizzically on. A potential Mrs. Schmuck used to work there. He read her name, Julie. Julie Schmuck. He dreamt, went to see her line dance, bought her a drink, was laughing too hard when he gave it her all his teeth and gums, gingivitis and orange. He'll get a little of his two spotted dicks on his shirt, crushed velveteen. He's excited by the night and a slightly drunken kebab. A 44 still feels the overspill of teenaging. Says he's an optimist. Be home by 12.30. Splattered a little with rejection and chilli sauce. It'll keep what's left of the spotted dicks company. Turns the key. Tunes into a DVD. Stuck into Ben and Jerry's. As Captain Jane away bikinied. Whispers sweet nothings on a holodeck of a desert island.